Hey guys, Liz here with Hopelessly Crafting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a plan with me. It's going to be for um, it's going to be for the week of January 10th through January 16th, 2022. And the theme this week is going to be St. Louis because I get to travel to see my siblings. The theme this week is going to be St. Louis because I get to travel to see my family. Yay! What I did was, what I did was I did take um, some images that I found offline and I um, made them all the same color scheme. So um, then printed them out on my Cricut and I did find some images. I did find some images online. I made them all uh, the same color scheme and then I printed them on my inkjet, cut them on my Cricut, and that's what we're gonna be using today. This plan with me is going to be in my black and white vertical classic happy planner. It's the 18 month version. Um, I think they're still available. That will be linked in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokie folks. So we had a little bit of a spill here. I've got a few marks, but we can probably cover those up with some stickers. I'm not going to be too concerned. But of course, then we also got my sticker. So this might be a little bit harder to cover. I really like the St. Louis one too. So um, I might be able to put a box sticker there. I'm not sure. We're going to start with this black one, this black flower. Now the way that I cut them <laughs> on my Cricut, they're kind of in pieces and I kind of have to piece them back together. This isn't like a flower from Missouri or anything. This is just, I thought it was a really pretty flower. And then I'm gonna put the airplane up here, I think, kind of like across Monday and Tuesday. So the airplane has been awkwardly cut. All right, so this Meet Me in St. Louis sticker. Now, as you can see, it cut a little funny. So I'm just gonna trim right here so we're going to put this down here. Um, let's get our long box, our long sidebar box. And now we also have the book I'm reading, which is White Fragility. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. And then I think I'm gonna put this up top here, like this. So the other thing is that because I'm gonna be in St. Louis, like I might not, oh, but I don't really want, see I wanted the white fragility to balance out the black down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I don't mind that I'm covering up so much of this box. I don't need a huge meal plan box this week because we're leaving for St. Louis on Thursday, which means we'll be at my sister's on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So really I'm just meal prepping for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So therefore I don't really care if um, I don't have a, sh a, a long um, place for meal prepping. So let's take a look at what we have left. I have some other flowers, I have boxes. I have a safe trip. I have cat hair apparently. Okay. Um, but I really, really like this. Of course, this has been damaged by my iced coffee spill. So or I can use this one. So also says St. Louis and it's got the art, which is cute. Okay, so the reason why I decided to go with this one is that I could te technically use this as like a box. <laughs> so I think we're gonna put this one on Thursday, maybe like Thursday and Friday, and then we can use this for like my flights. 
Let's put up here in this corner. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. A box here. So we're going to pair this pink one, it's kind of the lighter shade, with this yellow. And we'll do that over here. Not exactly even. Let's see if we can pull this up. Yeah, this label paper. So easy to pull up. You don't even need to. This is the online labels label paper. I'll link it in the description. Um, I'll put this guy right here. Let's see if we can pull this one up and what it looks like. These are super detailed, so like it takes a minute to pull it up accurately. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. And then because I want to cover this coffee spot, this one, I'll put it down here like this. We'll take this rose and we'll put it like so in between these two boxes, which is cute. About St. Louis trip. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. There's a lot in this line here. I kind of want to put something else over on this page. This page is very busy. Of course, these three days, I'm still working. I'm still in the houses. So I've got like errands and things to run. So I don't know about doing too much. Nope. Kind of like this idea. Cool. Now, is it just me or do you feel like a little rose needs to go there since there's one there? Okay, so I pulled up a small one of these flowers and I'm gonna put it over here. Ooh, no, maybe not. I think I might've just ripped it. Nope, just bent it. I do have two more of these little roses. miscut. That's not going to work. Let's go ahead and put some lines down to kind of see visually where we are at now. So I'm going to take my Muji 0.38 pen. Um, this one's on its last legs and my happy planner. Check it off lines and we're going to go ahead and um, line it up. The cool thing about this checkbox um, stencil is that it fits perfectly in your happy planner vertical um so you can line it up with the lines as you see i just did here line up with the vertical lines and then there are three different so you could potentially put lines in all three um i when i line it up like this it gives me a line at the bottom i don't really love that so i like to center it a little bit more so we're just going to move it up just a little bit so the seven lines are in the middle I'm gonna do up top. Oh no. Oh no. She ran out on me. Okay, hold on. 
Okay, I'm back. Let's try this again. Yes, that's better. Usually I like the little checklist dots, but obviously up here it's not going to work because of the um, book cover. Um, but then we'll put some lines down here. Okay, so ordinarily I wouldn't love having the lines on two boxes straight, uh, you know, straight across, but since I have this box here, it kind of makes sense. I don't want to put lines like halfway through and there's like a design down here. So it's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, as long as there's room to write and what have you. Um, so next I'm just going to take another quick look at what I have going on this week. And it looks like I do have an appointment um, on Monday the 10th. And then I have an appointment Tuesday, Wednesday are fine. Obviously we're flying out Thursday. I wanna put one more box over here. These are the same color, I hate that. really kind of hate that box there. So let's just take it off. We're not doing it. Okay, so maybe like a little flower doohickey. It's crazy to just be like in the box, but it's like To kind of fill up that space. Does that look silly? I'm not sure I like it. Then I feel like it needs something down here, which maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we do need this box. All right, folks. So this is my spread for the week of January 10th through January 16th using stickers that I created myself. Okay guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm still a little bit sad about some of the stickers that I messed up with my coffee spill, but I'll get over it. If you like some of the products that were used today, please go ahead and check out my description box. Um, I will have linked all of the products there. They are not affiliate links. Um, simply that if you would like to purchase some of the items that are used, it's just easier for you to get to them that way. If you liked what you saw today, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you get alerted every time I upload new videos. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see on my channel. Tell me if you like the plan with me, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Happy Planner or any of the other products that I use. Let me know what keeps you coming back. As always, I hope you have a wacky Wednesday and I look forward to seeing you next time. Toodles.